Yeah, so it's a Craftsman Lawnmower M260 and it won't start. Give me 10 minutes and we'll have it back in business. I promise. <laughs> That's right, I'm Buck Weezer and welcome to another riveting video with Buck's Small Engine DIY on YouTube where we put the do into do-it-yourself and this is the home of the 10-minute mower fix guarantee. What that means is bring me any non-starting mower and 99% of the time I can get it back in service, back running again in 10 minutes or less guaranteed. Think I'm just whistling Dixie? Well, let's find out on this guy right here. So there are a lot of mowers out there that have these Briggs & Stratton engines with the black plastic carburetor. I like to call these the plastic engine. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. So this will apply to any, uh, any mower, not just the Craftsman M260. Remove the air cleaner cover. Now if you've got the kind with a primer bulb, it'll be right there in the middle. But this one has automatic choke. Then take off the air filter. Alright, so now right in here, we're going to take some starting fluid get at Walmart or any auto parts store and I'm just going to shoot a little bit into the throat of the carburetor. Now like I said this is automatic choke so I'm going to push that choke plate open with a screwdriver. It's spring loaded and since the engine's cold and not running it's the choke plate is closed so I'm just going to hold it open with a screwdriver and shoot a little of this in there. Just like that and I'm going to attempt to start it and see what we get. start to begin to sputter there and start. I'm going to try it one more time with the starting fluid. All right, so there you go. It took a few pulls, but it did eventually fire. And the fuel was just the starting fluid that we put in there directly. And that's a significant test because it confirms for us a couple of things. The engine will run, it has spark, it has compression, the timing's okay. It's just not getting fuel. And again, this is 99% of the time, this is the problem. It's not getting fuel flow through the carburetor jet. And we have three options. The first option is take the carburetor down and clean out the jet. We can, option two, take the carburetor down and replace the jet. It's just a plastic insert. Or three, we could replace the entire carburetor, which is pretty cheap to do also. I think we're going to do option number two. We'll take the carburetor down, and I'll show you how easy it is just to put in a new main jet. And this baby will be back in business. All right, I put the mower up on a table just to make it a little bit easier. You could do this work on the ground if you want, but I'd rather be standing than kneeling. We're going to start by taking this red cover off, and there's one screw two screw, they might be Torx bit, I don't remember. And then it kind of clips under the front here. So let's get this cover off. I'm gonna use a pair of vice grips like this just to pinch off the fuel line. So we don't spill gas all over the place. All right, so now we're gonna remove this air cleaner cover. We got one, two, five sixteenths screws or bolts. And we got one, two, nine thirty second. Not sure why they couldn't just make them all the same size, but whatever. So let's start with these outer ones, 5 sixteenths. One. Two. Nine thirty second. two of those and then this comes off and this plugs unplugs from the uh, the crankcase vent tube there in the back all right we move him out of the way and now we have access to our carburetor I hope you could see it all right it's that guy right there sometimes I don't know if the flashlight helps on video or not so this is our automatic choke system <clears throat> so we're going to take down this carburetor it's really just a matter of pulling it off out this way. Now I'm going to remove this fuel, disconnect this fuel line. 
I grab this clamp with a pair of pliers and slide it back. That's disconnected. Now, all the only thing holding it on is the two linkages. This one's for the automatic choke, and it goes back over across here. So I want to take that guy off. Then this throttle linkage right there. <coughs> he comes off. And these linkages can just stay there right in place. Alright, so this is the carburetor. Uh, we're going to clean it off. Some carburetor spray. And we're going to open it up. <coughs> Here's our carburetor. I put down a white cloth just as a background to maybe help you see better what I'm doing. So we're turning it upside down. You may get some gas coming out and 932nd socket 932 uh, take off these two screws at the bottom these just go into plastic so they're not that tight and when you put them back in later don't overdo it okay so now we have to separate the bowl the bot the bowl from the carburetor and there's a gasket it's pretty tight I have to do some prying or something uh, there we go so it comes apart like that and of course we do have some gas in here like I told you thing about this being black plastic you can't really see very well the condition of that fuel if there's any crud in the bottom of the bowl but we're gonna we're gonna dump this out we're gonna clean it out and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in here to clean out or replace that jet okay so looking here at the bottom of the carburetor with the bowl removed this is the main jet uh, plastic thing that we're going to pull out and replace and I want you to just pay attention to how it goes in there with this part sticking out towards the choke plate so just keep that in mind so when we put the new one in we'll get it in the same orientation so I just grab it with pliers and kind of pull and that's it so you could take this, this, this then has another part that comes off and you got to clean it out, these small holes, these small holes, but, uh, and you can do that, there's nothing wrong with that approach yet. But I, I buy some of these, uh, you know, five or ten at a time just to replace them. And it's a lot quicker and easier and I don't have to spend any time cleaning the old one. So I'm just going to put it back in, press it in there, just like the other one was. Again, this part's sticking up towards the choke plate. And that's that. I cleaned this out, we can put it back on. You want to put them on the exact same way, because it's got this cavity down here, and this jet goes down into that cavity. So, and it's a little snug going in. To squeeze it together like so and then we use our screws and put that back on and you just want to snug it down you don't want to torque it too much because we're just screwing into plastic it's the plastic carburetor Installing a carburetor is just the reverse of what we did to take it off. So when we're installing it again, we're going to begin with these linkages. <clears throat> I should have mentioned, you know, it's always helpful if you're not familiar with this, you know, before you take it apart, use your camera and shoot a photo. It says you have a point of reference <clears throat> if you want to look back at it. So those are the linkages back in place. Let's put the fuel line in there. Before I forget, I'll grab the pliers and slide the clamp up. Now we just set this back in place where it goes. It slides onto that intake pipe. Like that. And that's it. So then it's just a matter of our cover again, or our air cleaner assembly. The four screws, breather tube plugs into the back here.
right? Air filter goes back up, and then this cover, and then uh, Ray set it on the ground and see if it'll run for us. All right. So like I said, 99% of the time, these non-starting mowers, it's a fuel-related issue. They, they put ethanol in the fuel, it gums up, it clogs up the, kind of turns into gel, or sometimes puts a hard varnish on those small passages through which the fuel has to flow. And uh, it's not that hard. Okay, maybe it took a little more than 10 minutes. Sometimes just finding your tools takes more than 10 minutes, but it's a pretty easy job to get it uh, cleaned out, replace or clean out that, that jet, and then you're back in business. But yeah, now you know the 10-minute the mower fix guarantee. So you don't have to put your mower at the curb, you don't have to scrap it, you don't have to trade it in for one of those battery-powered nonsense. No. I know you were thinking about it, weren't you? Yes, you were. You don't have to. You can fix it yourself. Because remember, only you can put the do in to do it yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. That's right, I'm Buck Weezer. Check battery pack. Stupid.